important here, so I will just be very casual and then just talk about my uh, little bit of history first. Then, um, in the 1975, I started to carving the, the seal. You know, I, I know the people here, they don't, they, they, talk, they have the knowledge about the seal carving. So that's the, the, my starting point. And then the, a friend of mine telling me, if you want to improve the seal carving, you just need to practice the calligraphy. So that's, and that's my, my reason to get into the practice in the calligraphy. But uh, after a few years, the uh, carving the seal, and I figured I find out something very really interesting because the seal has a really long tradition, but up to until now, he was still using it. So they have the limitations because he's using it, you need to have the name or whatever, that kind of thing. So I was just thinking about maybe I can make the seal carving is like uh, totally independent art form. So first of all, I take out the little show meaning, treat the character as the sign or maybe animal or maybe image or whatever. So now you see in the in the screen is a uh, high wood and then I draw on it and then park on it and uh, that is the artwork. I intend not paint it up. So I do that kind of thing from the 75 until 96, totally like eight, 20 something, 20 years I guess. And then uh, my life going on, um, I moved to Taiwan in 1986, and uh, from the beginning I had nothing. I had no had. I don't have a studio. I I cannot craft the, 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 the wood. And then I pick up the, the paper and brush, doing something like this, similar like this. I the feeling to me doing that kind of thing is very good, but my rational mind telling me this not a good piece. So it's a contradict in between my feeling and my rational, my judgment. And then the, when I come uh, going back to the visiting New York, a friend of mine seeing the work, he said, oh, that's good. That uh, will be uh, avoid all the traditional uh, retraction. And by that time, I know nothing about the calligraphy, but I don't dare to ask to show my so since then, in the 86, I'm using like 10 years of searching around, you know, all the books and uh, what is the theory behind and what is inside of the collective. That took me 10 years. And within this 10 years, I still major on the seal carving. So the seal carving from the stone become the wood and then become three dimensional. So I'm using the character to construct it, you know, make it like sculpture. But it's still more or less using the, the, the character, the Chinese character. And then the time passing on and uh, till 96. I come back from Beijing with a new brush and one night I put out the paper to try the, the brush house see the, how good is it and then I don't know why I'm writing something like this and by that particular moment I understand what is my calligraphy and then this 10 year the reading and the understanding of the, 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 the calligraphy theory and everything within suddenly this light up and and since then, I, my, all my energy is put in the calligraphy. So now you see the exhibition here. Uh, it's from the 96 till now. And okay, let's uh, see what's going on inside the calligraphy. And uh, first of all, the line is the uh, essential element to construct all the character, the sentence, and uh, and let's see what is the line. 
the line is the the brush movement move the, on the paper to make the mark. You know, the brush movement, the essential uh, movement is like four direction, up and down and twist. So all line is this three basic movement, the combination. And the line containing two factor. One is the time. So you will see the up the sign. Okay. Oh yeah. So that is the time, alright? You need of course every movement, you know, is finished in the time, so it's here all the way down. And then you will see the brush movement within the line. You use you using the uh, you writing the Chinese character using the brush. So this here, starting here, the brush tip. You'll be touching the paper and then pass down and also move around and then you know turn and lifting up and moving this direction and pass down and moving this direction and this that end. So in the old day, all the people they know how to write. They understand that kind of movement within. But today is a professional knowledge. No longer to to understand, all right. And let's see how we traditionally how we look at the calligraphy. You know, so this I call it like total call because uh, you will tracing the, the 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 time in the in that particular moment the the artist writing in here. You just you know, that from here you press down and then lift it up and all the all the space within this line you will uh, recall the brush how they pass it down and turn around and then you follow the line and construct the character and then you follow the the poem or the list of meaning from one character to another character. So that's the way traditionally we appreciate the calligraphy. Right? So because of that, the line is like the video tape. And the audience, just like the machine, they decode the the, the movement or the space inside the, the, the line. So one by one from the first stroke on the first character all the way down and then going to the last stroke to the last character. So the, that is the, the, the way to looking at the traditional color. Okay. So everything, because uh, is within within the line, and everything is is happen in your head. It's, the space is not in the in the uh, the, the uh, visual because uh, you have to decoding the 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 line. You know how is the bus move around? It's all inside your brain. So that is a really, really different. Okay. After like 20 something years to doing the, the, my own work, I now I figure out, I define, categorize in this like traditional. Traditional I think is more easy to understand and the line and space, time, concept and, you know, combination with the painting. Um, let me talk about the space first because that is uh, following the, uh, the traditional how to looking at the traditional the space we call it like something seen, something like a painting you have the space here so the visual you have the space and and, and let's <coughs> because uh, we looking at the uh, so looking at the calligraphy, 
is, um, oh, uh, let's put it this way. And because this area is, when you're looking at the uh, color of it, this area doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter because even you put it on the paper, wood, silk, or even on the wall, it's a matter. Because you're just seeing the, the brush movement within the line. And then this area, they have the terms called Wai Wang. It's not the space. Not like the painting. They have no space in here. But actually, it's only a vessel. You need something to support the line to make it exist. Okay. And because of that, I've made this Wai Guang or turn the vessel to become a space, similar like this. Okay. So in here, I call it back one. In here, you see, you see a little bit like um, abstract painting. You will see maybe you can feel the, the space because this one is bigger and this one is smaller and whatever. So you feel the, the space within it. And then in this space, you're writing something on it. So that is our, uh, the, the back one, this has the space. So turn the, the vessel to become the space. And that's the one way to doing it. The second way to doing it is similar to this piece. This one, uh, this area, you know, you can call it white right one, but when you're looking at the, the character, you make you feel you're looking through the ground glass. So actually you can look into it. So and and because of that, that is the will become like the space, not the vessel. And here is more visual. And the next example is more like in your mind. <clears throat> and everything is like folding, you know, in, including the character. So I put the bubble, you know, what small, big. So you can feel like this more in the forefront and this far away from you and this even far away. So, so the, this area becomes the space, but that is inside your mind. It's not that visual. So totally in that I call it space, this category, they have three different types. Alright. And then let's move move on to another category. I call it line. Line is really easy to understand. Um, in the traditional calligraphy, we have the same standard. Like the line is really powerful and really elegant and that kind of thing. I just conceptually, I just put the put it back to the zero from the beginning. So I think all the line is beautiful. It's depending how you compose it. You know? So this from the start from the zero, and that is the one of it. You know, I using the different uh, rhythm, you know, and the uh, quarter line and small line and then the yeah. So that's another way to using the line. So it's construct like of so many small animal or whatever. Yeah. And that's another kind, using like like the bamboo lid and that kind of thing. And I just did four, it's a lot more. It's all using the different kind of line to construct it and make it work. And that's the extreme case, you know. To put all the different strokes and lines and so you can go to the, the website key in my name, you, you will find out how plus the, the whole pieces. Yes. And now now we jump to the the territory time. Okay, so like this. Oh, no. Okay. 
So you will see that if the, the characteristic of the stream paper, and then the, that is the, some kind of time factor within the paper. When you finish it, you will see that. So you will see the first stroke all the way at here on the top. Because of that, I create using that effect to create something. You can see some, you know, the character within it, and then that's uh, like some landscape, and that the form is within it. And also, you will see the the stroke, you know, the this one on top of this one. So you can tell which stroke is first, which stroke is the second. So I call that series as time series, and using the, the paper character. And then that is a, a character within it. You see the light and that. So that is another character. character, character. Um, and concept. It's more easy to explain. So let's like, oh, can you see the character in it? No. no. Can you take a look? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit like, it, it, wow. See here? Yeah, I think maybe, it, that the white is like too strong, so it's more hard to see because uh, the still when you close it, you still see some character. It's more. Let, forget about it. Let me explain another one. And that is uh, I call it face to face hand scroll. In the traditionally, the hand hand scroll uh, when you see the hand scroll with the fan, so. Both of you will be facing the same direction to looking at it. But in this case, I wrote two different forms. One is reading from this line, and then continue with this line. And then another one is from that side, to reading this form from here, and then to here. So once you're looking at this hand scroll, you and your friend is face to face to looking at it. And then, your form is nothing to do with his form. So it's a, I call it face to face hand scroll. So it's more conceptual. And uh, this one is this, this piece. I just want to create something like a movie, uh, zoom in and zoom out. Once you're looking at it from the top, I already made the same.
combination with the painting. Okay. All right, and um, so this uh, all the paragraph paragraphs all everything here. But once you be looking at the at the work, you cannot say that it's a Sometimes you cannot say that it's a line or space or whatever because uh, some work is combination of the different uh, different character. For example, that is the one. Here I using the line, you know, to construct the, the whole piece, and then the, I scatter the the space inside the character. And two space inside it, uh, with, uh, the space within the character, and then the space in between two character and the space in between two lines, all mixed together. And in this case, uh, maybe in the Western viewpoint, you will see that it's using the line to cutting the, uh, the space here, cutting the, the white part to make the space. And because of that, you cannot, like, you're looking at the traditional calligraphy. You know, follow the stroke, follow the, the internal uh, space within the line to, to read. So, which means that the rhythm is stuck. The only thing you can get is the space in, in this paper. And so for me, I can't take this one because they're stopping the reading the, the time and then so they will uh, identify like in the in the time characters. And uh, another thing is but because they're cutting the, the space, so you can say that is the, the space. And also you can start it like that is the line, but you're using all the very extreme simple line to doing it. So this piece containing field character in, in between it. And also the space uh, is open. Uh, the piece in, in, inside the room. And because you can see the, the pile up all the all the, uh, the the line here to make the color character, and also you will think that is the, the trip. That which means they mix with the paint uh, with the image, so like some painting. And because of that, this white one, this vessel, maybe in an imagination is the sea. So that is the space. So it's the contents different. When you see, it's only one char character. Uh, uh, character is not true because they contain so many. So it, it's really complicated. Yeah, but just you know, I characterize the, the that different uh, maybe six or at uh, least six different paragraphs because uh, I need to. But once you're looking at it, you sometimes you cannot say, oh, that is the space, that is the line, or whatever. You have to really mix it up yeah, to understand it. And then uh, within this 20-something um, year, a lot of people asking me, you create so many different things, you know, I'm totally confused. Where you inspiration come from? It's very hard to explain. Sometimes I get up from the midnight and then I, 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 I get something from nowhere. And sometimes maybe I see the opera and then maybe some, some noise or song or whatever to trigger me to make something. But now I give you some example. I can, I can say it because uh, this more solid is not from nowhere. Okay. So that's uh, inspiration. And, okay, I have to go back to here. That is the 
very famous uh, Chinese uh, painter, Fu Pao Shi. I still remember the first time I saw that painting, similar to this, uh, like a uh, figure, figure in the middle, and then the leaf writing. You know. And before I saw this painting, I saw so many figurative painting, Chinese figurative painting, they had the figure standing up and uh, empty. Not nothing. Maybe sometimes they just uh, the clothes a little bit flying, representing the, the wind blow and that kind of thing. But this is stunning to me because the the leaf, you know, you can see that it's a like bigger and smaller. So they suggest the 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 space in it. So I using this to make this. So I just say before. So that space is within your mind, it's in your brain, it's not visual, but they just give you the hint that is the, the space all the way down. So in the Chinese painting, the white one, this area, everybody knows the sky. But the funny thing is like this white one. You see that is the, the river, and here maybe is the forty. So all is the paper, all is the, the white one, but they represent the different kind of space in it. Okay, so I make this. In here, they have three different kinds of space. You will see that is a that is a space, you don't know what's that, but that is something missing in here, that is the space. That, but that is the, 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 the paper, the white one. And here is a really the paper, the white one. And here, within this line, this area, is the line. Will you, will the people, they truly understand the, the, the movement within the line, they can tell from this, you know, how is the first movement? So I put the, using the same principle to make this one, because that's a, uh, something, and this the uh, the white one, and that's the, within the line, so that's the inspiration come from. And also, in the daily life, I saw the car after the ringing, then I make this. Yeah. That's the first generation, and that's the second generation. People often asking me the inspiration come from, and also they asking me the technique because the so many different techniques within my collective. So let's see some how to make this kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. It took me two years to figure it out. I just passing by and then wrote write something on the on the car. And I said, oh, I can turn it into a loop. And eventually, yeah. Okay. All right. So the next one, a lot of people are curious because uh, they like the hustle term a lot.
Next. Okay. It's all about the paper, you know, the wet and dry, water, ink, the timing, the procedure, to make the different thing. Yeah. See, because the, the stroke is dry, you catch more ink from the brush. So, and at the end, I would like to give you the really extreme case about the technique. Now you see that is the piece. You will see the hole from here. And that kind of writing, I have to use the water, write the character first, and then put the whole paper inside the ink bath to, ops to dye all the, the, the ground. And this I have two difficulties. That is the first generation. That piece is from this bathtub. <laughs> that, that using so many ink, you know, maybe the whole bathroom or ink you know, sometimes. But the thing is really hard to pull it out. The, the paper is extremely fragile, so that's why they have to hold it. The big hole, I cannot, because they it just, it just, you know, bread, you know. The small hole, I just make it to make the composition work. Yeah, that are too hard. Because you need to lay it flat to make it dry. Otherwise, the, the water mark on the paper to destroy the whole writing. You know? So there's two difficulties. One is like too many ink. The second, you know, how to get the paper out from the ink bar. So in this case, I invented a tool to doing it. That's it. So I'm using the palm pipe to seal it. And then the ink in it. OK, so let's see. Using the paper. So because the tools and the, the frame to make the perfect piece. <laughs> okay, that's uh, for today. Thank you. traditional calligraphy. 
is within your 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 mind because uh, you have to really understand the the brush movement how to make that line so it's not visual visual you know you see something maybe photograph or the western painting they have the, the image you know it's really visual but once you we call that movement movement that is in, inside your mind like you reading the the novel you have the image right so that is in your mind it's not in your eye the same thing in the how to appreciate the, the calligraphy do i understand your your, your question right i think so so you you write it in your mind no, no, I'm not writing. Oh, uh, the, when I do like like this one, for example, I just put a put a piece of paper to write on it, and we, you know, controlling the line and the dot or whatever that kind of thing. So it's the sense of beauty more controlling. But we like doing something. Uh, like that one, let's go with that. Oh. Oh. Like this one, I have to really well pen, you know, the procedure. Which way the, like, uh, very diverse aim for the, the character and maybe in, oh, it's in here still have few character when you're looking at the at the original because now it's maybe the light wash out a little bit so I need to you know to calculate uh, how is this line and how is this line and then everything you have to follow the procedure it's not that complicated. I have few things it's more complicated than this one. Then you have to follow the, the procedure, one step, another, 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 and then until the finish. So that's really well planned. It's not like traditional calligraphy, you're just writing on it, you know, it's not certified it for full it, pull it away and put an, another piece of paper out. So that's the way to doing it. But it's not inside you know, a lot like the, uh, looking at the traditional in, in that kind of thing. Yeah. I think my, my English is not good enough to make, you <laughs> make, it, make the thing clear. Yeah. Any question? No? All right. Thank you for coming.